I'm going to do an exercise for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, there's a link in the video description below to an introduction and also a link to this player reference. In here are all the scoring elements. There are 81, 81 scoring elements. This is why I like to practice. In this exercise that I call random pulls, we're going to pull 13 or 14 random tiles and see if we can identify some potential scoring elements. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east round. We'll use these dice to randomize which seat we're in. One, two, three, or four. That just keeps the variables fresh. It's not really part of the game. So player one, two, three, four. For the first one, I rolled a seven, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna be player three. Player three, east round. Those variables could come in handy when we see our dealt hand. We're non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. We have three dots, one, three, four. We have five cracks, one, three, four, five, nine. We have three bams, two, three, six, and single dragons. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my dealt hand, I would focus on one, three, four. We could do a couple of things here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mix triple chow. Or two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Mix triple chow two ways. I would discard these. The other thing I was thinking is there's a scoring element called lower four, number 37. Four pungs or chows in a pair using one through four, no honors. That's 12 points. Mixed triple chow is number 41, and that is eight points. So I think I would discard these first. We have one, two, three potential chows. We need more. So I think I think I would focus on mixed triple chow. If we get one through four, sacrifice the five and the six. So I think I would probably hold those, discard these and the nine, because there is chow potential right there. This is isolated. So I'd probably discard these first, then this, then this. See if we could get more two through four for lower tiles and focus there. Shoot for a mixed triple chow, one way or the other. That's how I would play this one. South round. We're going to be in south seat. I rolled a 10. Eight, nine, ten. Non-dealer, 13 tiles. flower. This is a bonus tile. You don't include this in your eight point minimum.
for these tiles. The first thing I notice is we have all types. Bams, dots, cracks, wind, dragon. That's all types. That one confused me for a long time. All types is... Where is it? Where is all types? There it is. Number 52. All types is six points. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your discards? If this were my hand, I think I would focus on all types, outside hand, terminal, pungs. Discard five bam, six dot, four crack. If we could get pairs here, we could do all types, terminal, pung, that's seven, and then maybe plan our weight to be a valued weight, pair weight, side weight, closed weight, so a chow. We don't really have chow potential if we played outside hand. Of course, we'd need to chow in here unless we paired up here quickly and go for all types, terminal pung, valued weight. Hmm. I think all types, terminal pung valued weight would be risky because there are only four of every tile and we have singles. Outside hand is four points. Outside hand is number 55, only four points. Terminal pung that's one point, so that's five. We'd need three points somewhere else. Maybe try to pair up another nine for another terminal pung. We would need a one, two, three here for outside hand. A pung of twos is not going to work. Even a pair of twos won't work. But the eight and the three could be used in chows. So I think I would try all types outside hand, terminal pungs. Maybe dragon pung if we could get it. I think that's what I would try for here. Let's see, I wonder if there's knitted straight. Somebody was telling me about that today. A knitted straight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not set up for that very well. We have a one, five, eight, three, six, seven, two, four, nine. The child potential in here for knitted straight is terrible. What about lesser honors and knitted tiles? Okay, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Three, six. One four seven, okay, three six nine, two five eight, one four seven, one, one four seven, oh, two five eight, three six nine, two five eight, one four seven, here we go. Okay, 147, 258, 369, honors. Six discards, that's terrible. But that is 
the makings of lesser honors and knitted tiles number 34 147 258 369 each suit represented you cannot include all types in your scoring it's a concealed hand and it's a single weight so you can't include all those in your scoring so 12 points for lesser honors and knitted tiles so either way it's one or the other I think I would rather go the other way all types and outside hand I think we have more tiles to work with only three discards really maybe unless we get two ones or a one a couple ones and threes we may not be able to use both of those so I think I would try for outside hand terminal pungs maybe a dragon pung I think that's how I would play this one this one was challenging I rolled a five, so we're gonna be player one this time. This is West Round. We have a flower. Bonus. So there's our hand. Four, four, six. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would do the same thing as the last one, either outside hand with valued honors and terminals or lesser honors and knitted tiles. We have 369 there or here, but we have we need to use those cracks. 258 or really 147, 258. 147258369 honors. That's six discards, just like the last hand. Or we could play outside hand. Only two discards. We have a lot more to work with for outside hand, but we would need to get value in here. If we played outside hand, which is only four points, we would need terminal pungs or valued honors. We are in west round and we are in north seat or east seat. So we would need to pair up and pung the dragon and the wind or pair up and pung the ones and nines. We do have all the nines and we have a potential chow here. If we can get seven, eight, nine in these other suits, we could try for mixed triple chow outside hand. I think I would start by discarding these and try for outside hand and then valued honors. Maybe mix triple chow, but that's kind of a long shot. I rolled a seven, so we're going to be in west seat. North round. Has, I thought we were in west seat. West seat, north round. 
I think those got mixed up. If I mess that up, we're going to say west seat, north round. Flower. So here's our dealt hand. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I think I would push for half flesh, discard these, sacrifice the chow. We have a potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, seat wind. It's the north round and we're in west seat. These are all valued honors. If we could pair up and pung, chi, chi, or pung, I think I would push for half flesh and discard these. Half flesh is my favorite fawn. If you have a valued honor paired up, there's your eight points. Half flesh is six, valued honor pair, potential pung for two points, eight points. And then you can chow or pung with your suited tiles. You only need a couple in there for example, with that last hand, that could be a quick win. If you don't draw well, though, you could be in trouble. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls, for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.